Well, after today, most students in our area will be out for summer break. Oh, it's that time. And with the children at home, this may intensify the feelings of working mom guilt for many women. Elizabeth Pearson is a business coach and is here to tell us that those feelings will only hold you back at home and in the office. Good morning to you. Hi, how are you? You're going to help us tackle mom guilt. Yes, a couch full of mothers here. We've uh, all felt mom guilt. Really, any parent, I feel like at some point, has felt some sort of twinge of guilt anytime you leave your child to go do something for yourself. Yeah, well, in the summertime, it seems like it only intensifies because you have this feeling that you're shortchanging your kids out of summer. You should be taking spontaneous trips to get ice cream and go to the park, and you're, right. you're not you're not able to do that should be during the work hours. Right. We should be doing all those Pinterest things, right? We should have those wonderfully groomed kids that we're taking to the zoo and all of that. <laughs> but there are some ways that you can help mitigate that mom guilt, mm -hmm. and the first one is to really be present with your children when you are with them, right? So a lot of times we might be doing this and maybe we're answering that last text message or sending an email to our boss. But what's really important is that kids feel their value when they are with you, mm -hmm. right? So of course we want to teach them patience, but we don't want them to be patient to our phone. So if you can be really present when you are with them, it will help you kind of avoid some feelings of guilt later on when you're not with them. Mm, that is such good advice. And then what about just trying to be and have have quality time with them because so many times it, you might have your sip come on it's not a perfect yeah. world so the siblings are fighting they're, you're not having quality time so how do you do right. that break them up a little bit and enjoy each other you got it you absolutely break them up and I have two little girls and I thought I'll just go run these errands really quickly by myself I'll leave them together I'll go get my Starbucks whatever but then I started breaking them up and taking them with me on these little insignificant errands but it meant so much to them because it was something special that they got to do with mommy by themselves so even though it might be quicker for you to go do some of these things by yourself and maybe you need a moment, mm -hmm. Try to just grab one of them if you can. And I find that the kids are better behaved when they're by themselves with mm -hmm. you. And they have this wonderful one-on-one -on -one time so that later on when you're gone, they feel like they got in some great quality time with mm -hmm. you while you were there. So give them that gift of attention. Yes. All right, you have a third tip for us, and that is stay front of mind when you are gone. Yes. This is for, for working moms who travel maybe a lot? Yeah, so a lot of my clients travel a lot for work. Mm -hmm. And even if you're just going on a summer vacation, Maybe it's just going somewhere with your husband for the weekend just to take a break because they are kind of right there with you all summer. Um, when you are gone, it's really great to leave some notes with whoever's the caretaker for them. And maybe when they wake up with breakfast, they have a sweet card from mommy. Or I tend to say if you're gone for two or more nights, it's really nice to even send your children flowers. Mm. You know, we might not think to do that, but they freak out. They love it. And if it has a little note that says something like, even when mommy's away, you, she thinks about you every Every day, right? Aww. Something really sweet. Your kids feel like even though you're gone, you're still thinking about them. Mm -hmm. And they might be a little less resentful when you come home that because they a, know that you yeah, were thinking about them. That is them. a fun idea. I yeah. really like that one. And then how do we let ourselves off the hook? Well, I tell clients all the time, just tell yourself there will be others, right? So maybe you missed a play or something that you feel really guilty about in the moment, there will be others. This is just a blip in your child's life as well as yours. And if you can let yourself off the hook and actually enjoy your time away, um, you can be a better mom when you come home because it's not going to make you a better mom if you beat yourself up and feel guilty the entire time that you're away from them. It doesn't help them. It doesn't help you. So just let yourself off the hook and remind yourself that there are going to be many more exciting experiences with your children in the future that you will be Oh, for. yeah, and while you might feel terrible, just keep in mind, your kids are probably fine. They're yes. making memories. Yeah. They're having a great time no matter what they're doing this summer away from school. Sure. All right, so good to talk to you. Thank Thanks you so for coming much. in. Thanks. Such an important conversation mm -hmm. for us to remember. Yes, too. indeed.